In the last few years, Waco has seen a vast amount of growth just in tourism alone. So much so, it can be hard to even find a vacant hotel sometimes. It's no secret that Magnolia Market and the silos is what brings many people from all over to Central Texas. But as Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell explains, many also come asking, what else is so special about Waco? Welcome to Waco, Texas, a place where millions of tourists have been swarming for the last few years, boosting the city's economy and hoping to get a glimpse of this celebrity couple. But I'm a big fan of Fixer Upper Show with Chip and Joanna Gaines and I've never missed an episode. Recently, Waco was named the number two travel destination for 2018 in TripAdvisor's Traveler's Choice Awards for destinations on the rise. And that largely has to do with the famous HGTV stars. But besides their Magnolia Market at the Silos and their new Magnolia Table Restaurant, these 10 tourists are wondering what else is there to do to keep them busy in this small city. Uh, but we have a lot of rich history and other fun shopping, restaurants, that were, and hidden gems we're going to show you guys. So to solve their curiosity, the group from Tennessee, Missouri, Iowa, Indiana, and even New Zealand met up with these guys. Be together. Meet David and Matt. The two guys from Waco Tours lead a two-hour journey that will provide everything tourists need to know about the town's uniqueness. If you look on your left-hand side, you'll see the tallest building in Waco, the Alico. And its history. They wanted to move the capital of Texas to Waco because of how centrally located it is. You can't forget about the shopping, the restaurants, and when riding past the Dr. Pepper Museum, most were shocked to learn the drink was invented right here in Waco. How do you say a soft drink? Do you say soda, pop, or how do y'all say it? Both. Both. The energy from passengers was through the roof during a drive through Baylor's campus. Kelly Yates is from Tennessee. She made the trip to Waco with a friend to celebrate her 50th birthday and is amazed by what she sees. To me, it seems like a great small town. <laughs> Waco Tours owner Luke and Rachel White and David Riley saw that tourism was increasing and thought it was a good idea to start a business that would welcome people to Waco. We wanted to create a fun experience where they could see a little bit all of Waco and hear the stories of what's going on here, what's gone on here, and what's to come and make something fun for them to do while they're in town. According to guides Matt and David, Cameron Park is Waco's hidden gem. The park is the second largest inner city park in America and is home to the Cameron Park Zoo and the dangerously beautiful Lover's Leap. But in Texas, we just call this the Brazos. Retired dentist Jeffrey Akey traveled here from Iowa with his wife. The Fixer Upper fan admits that before coming here, all he could really remember Waco for was for its tragic past. But after taking the tour, he now sees things a lot different. Obviously, the history of Waco with the Branch Davidian, you know, all that stuff in the past, it's been renewed. Um, I don't even think about that anymore. There's no doubt that Chip and Joanna and these big rusted silos <laughs> are the true reason why millions of tourists come here. But after seeing the Texas Sports Hall of Fame, the Texas Rangers Museum, and even stopping by Waco Staple Common Grounds, everyone in this group admits that the small city between Dallas and Austin has a lot to offer. Um, this tour brought about um, more than just uh, what we came down here for. And so I would re highly recommend this trip down to Waco. It's up to you. What's your pleasure? That was Jasmine Caldwell reporting. Tourists are spending a lot of money when they come to Waco. Just last year, tax receipts from travelers totaled $9.4 million. The owners of Waco Tours say they have seen a high demand in just a couple of years. 